I was watching this one episode of the Martin and SpongeBob. It's too bad you can't catch the jellyfish like in the last game. Right? That was kind of fun. Can I go over there? Hold on. Yeah, I can. Hold on. Yeah, I can get on top. Oh, that's scary down there. I better not go down because I had to go all the way back around. But I was watching this one episode of the Martin stuff. It was a weird episode. Um, what happened in it? Um, like it, it was like, cause like the, the episodes now are like 20 minutes because they like, they sometimes they'll do like two episodes in one. So like one after, after one episode is finished, they'll play another one. I can't get on that train, you kidding? You're a kid. I can't get on there. Okay. What the hell you put to get that? I don't know. I don't know. Probably need some power up. Oh no, you probably. Oh, I see. Um. This way. No? The other way, the other way, okay. But yeah, I was watching this one episode where. I'm trying to think what happened in it. Like, it started off with Squidward, like, trying to. And maybe some of you guys know what I'm talking about if you've seen it. I love opening presents. And. Let me, let me be clear again. Like, I don't think the show is that bad. I just don't find it funny. Like, the jokes just don't land for me. And the animation is just too much a little bit. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, like it, it starts off with Squidward like, selling art in the Krusty Krab where he works at. And uh, nobody's paying attention to him. <laughs> And he's trying his hardest to like try and sell it. I'm trying to think what happened. I think he shows it to Larry. Larry's like in the crystal crab getting like a burger or something. And he shows it to Larry and Larry reacts to it. And it was just like this picture of Squidward. You know, just like a drawing I guess he made of himself. You just met the Spongeinator. And it made Larry like just straight up throw up. Oh yeah, that's another thing about the show. They always keep on doing like disgusting things. Like they'll have like SpongeBob do some nasty crap almost in every episode, especially Patrick. Like they'll either have like just a lot of nasty stuff. Like I'm trying to think. There was just one episode where I can't remember how it went, but somehow SpongeBob had collected like a whole jar of different people spit and he drunk it <laughs> I know it sounds nasty but it's true he did it was like a I guess they were trying to copy like how gross but still kind of entertaining Ren and Snippy Ren and Stimpy can be cuz like I don't I don't see no other reason why they would do something like that Cause like, you know, Ren and Stimpy, yeah, I mean, it was for kids, I guess, but like, it was more, you could tell that it was more kind of targeted at adults, just by the grotesque stuff they did. You know, those early cartoons that could usually get away with anything back then, you know, those Tom and Jerry type of days. But nowadays, having Spongebob doing that, it's just kind of nasty seeing him do some crap like that. Uh... All right, we got to go to spatula. Oh, that makes fun. Okay. Oh, jellyfish caves. Okay. But yeah. Wow, mermaid. mermaid man. You have all your comics and toys and mail. <laughs> huh? What? Oh, yeah. It's that sponge kid. And now, what was I supposed to tell you? <laughs> That's not your voice. I think um, the original voice actor from Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, they both passed away a while ago, I believe. That Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help. Huh? Oh, 
know. I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must. So now Martin and SpongeBob would take the situation and have Mermaid Man sit back and like, you know, show his nasty, crusty feet. And SpongeBob, SpongeBob will probably like lick it. You know, they would, they would have like disgusting stuff like that in the show nowadays. Help! They're making me hit myself! What are you talking about? I ain't nobody making you hit yourself. You're over there by yourself. Massaging your feet. Stop isn't lying. I think I'd better try a more direct approach. By clipping my toenails? Here I come, Patrick! But anyway. They show. Squidward show his art to Larry. <laughs> Larry reacts to. Oh, crap! Woo! Larry reacts to. Whoa! Oh, I can go back. Cool. Hold on. I found like a little shortcut. It's a secret. Can't take it. Hey, you. Patrick Ooh. needs to do laundry. Whoa! Time for Patrick. Hold on. Ah, oh, I can't go back. But yeah, Scorpion show his art to Larry, and uh, Larry reacts to it by throwing up all over the place. And I think Mr. Krabs get mad, right? And so he like, I think he tries to like kick Squidward's art out of the place. But then like, uh, like a uh, some guy shows up. I guess it's like a art examiners or whatever he shows up and he was like oh these this art is terrible or something like that uh you need to get the patrick to help him okay okay i got you i got you okay i got it bring him out They go down in one hit, what am I worried about? Just my side! Let's start with this one first. But anyway, yeah, um... I think that guy tells Mr. Krabs that the art might be worth something one day. Uh, and so Mr. Krabs try to like... Tries to keep it. Uh, I'm trying to think what happened. Mr. Crash tries to keep the art. Take that! But I think. I'm trying to remember. I think the guy told him that if Squidward was like dead, the art would be more valuable. And so the whole episode is like Mr. Crabs just trying to get Squidward killed. Until, you know, stuff just wasn't working out because SpongeBob kept on. Like protecting them and stuff. And it makes Mr. Crab kind of snap a little bit. And so he just went. He just went full on. You know, getting a hammer out. Oh, that hurts you. Okay. I feel like a new sponge. And so he just went full on, like, getting a hammer out. And, like, try to, like, kill it himself. And I was just like, man, they really. Whew. Thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? I was just like, man, they really make you want to hate Mr. Crab in this episode. Well, the robots and the... Oh, yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, but it looks important. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me pooped. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. But yeah, that's exactly what I was saying. Like, they, they take, like... Like, we all know Mr. Krabs is, like, money hungry. But they'll take that perk of him and just, like, crank it up by 10. Like, they just straight up tried to kill Squidward. Woo! Up we go! Okay. And it makes you, it makes you hate him. 
but he's just so selfish. How many of these do I have to carry? And it's just like, how could you even think of doing something like that, Mr. Krabs? Jesus Christ. I mean, I know they're cartoon characters, but like, they don't act like that. Oh, you can't jump. What's the guy doing here? He's stuck on his island. It's too bad. What's going on? What? The watermelon pops? Why? Well, because. But you see what I'm saying? Like, that's how, like, the modern stuff goes. With Mr. Krabs, they make him super selfish and greedy. Don't care about nobody but himself. I mean, you've always kind of been like that, but, like, like, I don't know. To me, Mr. Krabs always been, like, kind of like a... Like, oh, that, okay, that takes you back. You've always been kind of like a father figure to, like, Spongebob. Somewhat. Like, giving him advice and stuff, and, like, watching over him kind of a little bit. Like, you know, telling him to stay away from the hooks. Uh, you know, and all the meanwhile... Hey, you barnacle head! Watch where you're going! Hey, Planky, I ain't even see you there. The rock is talking to me. Almighty oh, rock! I am at your command! Down here, you big pink lummox! Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton! Are you going to vaporize me today? <laughs> no, 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 not today, not today, but tomorrow! So very tempting! Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you! I was in an undesirable position yesterday! And now my neck hurts. <laughs> Heed my words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help <laughs> defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. Okay, okay. Well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop making low-quality design and knock-off wallets. Oh, thank you! <laughs> uh... Alright. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Ooh, scary dark days. But yeah, that's how they mess Mr. Krabs up. Well, Squidward already told you that he whines too much. And they cranked up his misfortune all the way up. <laughs> I know I'm laughing at about it now because I'm talking about it, but like when you watch it, it's just not funny. Cause it's like, I don't know, it kind of makes your brain rot a little bit. Uh, oh. Okay. Oh. What are you doing? Lock on to the other one. Hurry up. Ah. There you go. Yeah, I don't think I've ever made it out of these caves. I'm making history in my life. Woo! This game seems like it's super easy. With no real challenge. Do I need the watermelon? For what? I guess I throw it at that. Whoa! I didn't even see that jellyfish. So what did I just say about no real challenge? Oh come on, a jellyfish? I didn't see him. He's so quiet. I'm trying to think. They messed up. They messed up Patrick by just making him completely dumb with no real reason behind it. Like we all know that you know he's not all you know the best thinker. But like they make them dumb just to be dumb. That's uh, much better. Just to try to get like a cheap laugh out of you, but it comes off as just I don't know, kind of annoying. Uh, I don't. Listen, did they mess up Sandy? Um, no, I don't really see too much of Sandy. Like I said, I don't, I don't really watch the Martin stuff all that much. What's going on? 
Patrick, Patrick can also jump. Jump up and throw fruit to get to higher places. Okay. He may stack the fruit. Oh, okay, I got you. Say no more. Abulu Gabalaba. Okay, hang on. Sure gotta carry a lot of stuff around. Uh-oh. Oh! I thought maybe one more might do it. There you go. Can you get up there, Pat? There you go. Woo! The game looks amazing. Woo! A present to everyone! Woo! Oh yeah, you can't touch him. Ah! I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. It's okay. Oh yeah, they always make Patrick eat everything. Hey, that's a song over there. Oh goody, another one! Woo. Go, go, go! So crazy I'm playing this game again. I ain't played this game since I was a little boy like this little boy. I guess you could say this boy is stuck in here. I mean, how is he? How else is he gonna get out? I mean, you seen what we had to do? We got to double jump, pick up watermelons. That's twice his size. <laughs> go like a boo. So bright, so shiny. Where is a whistle? Woo! How do you get that? Oh, that watermelon. Watch out. That's much better. Wait a minute, I can't jump, right? Oh, wait, we can get on this. Hold on. Can I aim it from here? Uh-oh. Huh. How are you supposed to do it? Patrick may even pick up robots. He has stun. Oh, you can stun robots? How? They go down in one hit. How do you stun them? Ground pound. Are you supposed to make them hit each other? Oof. I don't know. I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Hang on. What if I jump on that head? Can't jump on that head. I'm about to die. How do you make him stun? What's this say? Throw fruits. Yeah. I got that. What about this? Uh, Patrick belly flops near robots. You can do damage or stun them. Okay. Belly flop. How you do that? Oh, you gotta hold it. Okay. I gotta do it near him though, not on him. There you go. Better pick him up. Woo! He got up before I can grab him. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I'm catching a cold. What happened? I heard that. Jellyfish stunned me. Wait, is a whistle. Watch out. That's much better. I keep on forgetting the machines blow up and they can, like, hit you. There you go. Get rid of that one. Go ahead. SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Okay. Got him. Hurry up! Woo! There you go. Get back! Get back! Oh, okay, I was gonna say. 
I don't know if you can still take damage while you're in the cutscene. All right, let's go. This is the end of the cave. That never before seen by me as a little boy. Ahoy there! Squidward tells me you're looking for the King Jellyfish. Uh, yeah, SpongeBob is, not Patrick. Yes. Good thing, too. That monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks. I hear that you can find him up top of Old Sport Mountain here. Go hook that beast, sailor! Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> okay. Woo! I think it's pretty cool. You can switch between Patrick and SpongeBob. What's that say? What's that say on the bottle? Tartar sauce. Oh, wait a second. You can play Sandy too? That last one was a squirrel. Okay. I didn't know you could play as Sandy. You know, I saw gameplay of Sandy, but I thought that was like another game. Oh, he go down in two hits. Ooh. What is a whistle? Yippee Kai, yay. Look at this guy. And show of ease. Man, there's so many good moments in the class of stuff. Pretty sparkly thingy. You know, the thing about it, the Martin stuff might have you like chuckle every now and then. It might get a laugh, because it happened to me before. It, it makes me laugh a little bit. Like, you know, I get like a little laugh like once or twice out of a 20 minute episode. <laughs> but like, the thing about it is like the joke is so weak that. I don't even remember what was funny. I'm trying to think, what did I laugh at? Oh, I know I can get on here. No, I can't. What? Okay. It put me back where I was at. <laughs> I'm trying to think, what did I laugh at in the Martin Hello, stuff? SpongeBob's underwear Mrs. Puff! Right. Hello, Mrs. Puff. Hello, Patrick. I've got a job for you to do. Oh, boy. I found a golden spatula, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. If you can figure out how to get it back, you're welcome to it. Wait, so they stole a golden spatula from you? And you want me to get it back just so I can have it? Show sure enough, Mrs. Puff. Show sure enough. Patrick, don't talk like that. <laughs> Good present. Don't talk like that. Make sure you use proper language. Which is something I don't even use myself. What's this? Oh! SpongeBob! Talk to Mrs. Puff, see what she said. Tell me you haven't been driving! <laughs> of course not, Mrs. Puff! I don't even know what I do. Oh, good. Then it was just another bad dream. <laughs> Mrs. Puff is so savage in the class and stuff. Like, she says some pretty mean, nasty things behind SpongeBob's back. I mean, I know she means well, but, like, man, can she be... <laughs> can she be a bully sometimes? Uh, let's see. How we do this? You've just met the Spongeinator. It shines. How do we do this? I don't know. Can I jump on that? I think I need to screw it. Oh, hang on. I think I need to play as Patrick now. Let me go back and switch out. We gotta pick up the robots and throw them at that whatever that thing is. Okay. There's so many of them. Ooh, again! Again! Yeah, you gotta throw it at it. Okay. Alright. One, two, three, and four. 
Hey, my back feels better. Ouch! Oops. Ooh. Hang on. It's kind of hard not to hit them. There you go. You don't have to be super close Where to like stun And that should be the last one. Got it. That's much better. Woo. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Good job, Patrick. You know, with the Martin stuff, I don't even think they play like the songs anymore. Like the the classic songs that we used to hear all the time when they when they play SpongeBob. I don't even think we hear that. I can't even think. It's been a while since I've seen like one of those episodes. Hang, on, I want to see if I can get over here. I can. What's over here, Mr. Krabs? Wait a minute, where am I? Oh, okay, this is where I started. All right. This is where I started. Yeah, yeah, I can ask that guy. That anchovy guy. <laughs> they don't make any noise. Woo. Anchovies. Wow. Anchovies. I've been over here. Yeah, we cleaned this whole spot out. Okay. What are you trying to tell me now? This is a shush ticky. A ticky. Uh, oh, tiki. I was going to say a tiki or what? Smells like I have to sneak up. Oh, okay, that's what the speak is for. Okay, they want me to switch a SpongeBob. You know, remastering this game, I'm surprised they don't have like a, like a button that we can just push to uh to just like switch out the characters on the fly. I like how you have to sneak up to them, but like. You're sneaking up to him right in front of them. You know? It's like, what's the point? Can I knock him in the water? No. Woo! I hope I'm getting all the socks. I haven't seen the sock in a while. Okay. Hmm, all right. Ah, uh, try thing. Fresh like a spring breeze. Checkpoint. I love opening presents. This game looks so, so good that it looked crazy. It's like you're playing that movie. I feel like a new sponge. Tartar sauce. Tartar sauce. <laughs> This game's silly. As it should be. This guy over here praying. That ain't gonna work, sir. You know it. Well, maybe it will, because I just answered his prayers. Like a spring breeze. Woo. What's going on here? Oh, we need Patrick. Oh, okay. What's it say? SpongeBob, oh, SpongeBob got to do this. SpongeBob should come back later when he knows to. Cre oh, yeah! I knew you could blow bubbles in this game. I knew it. <laughs> Congratulations, boys! You don't figure it out. I've cracked the code. Okay. I've cracked it. I feel like a new sponge. What was that? I got 4,000. I can buy anything. Woo! Look at me tearing up this level. Yeah! Oh, you gotta hit him. You can't hit the bottle. Fresh like a spring breeze. 
Oh, okay. Don't think I forgot about you. What you laughing at? I'm actually about to die. Woof. I better get some minority as quick. Oh, you can only do that with Patrick. Okay. There's a lot of switching that you have to do. Can't get up there, can you? There's a sock up there. Ooh. Yeah, but... Can't get up there. Hmm, what's this way? Okay. Oh! Oh, hang on, let me turn the light on. It's getting dark in my room. Oh, man! Alright, I'm back. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a sock over there. Yeah, but how? You had to get up there first. Okay. So you really can't, like. You really can't, like, clear everything else, because they just respawn, right? Get back. You can't really clear everything out, they just respawn. Fresh like a spring breeze. I guess. I guess you don't have to worry about it too much, I guess, then, right? Just kind of, like, go ahead and do the level. Like a new sponge. Get back. Need 150 for that. Yeah, but I'm still trying to figure out. Can you glide? No. Hmm. I'm still trying to figure out how you get on top of that tree. Or whatever it is. Hang on, let me look around. I feel like I'm missing a whole bunch of stuff. Huh. I'm not. I guess. I don't know. Fresh like a spring green. Whoa! Oh, you can't touch it. <laughs> Alright. Love opening presents. Yeah, okay. My guy. I'm just looking around. I don't want to miss anything. Like them socks over there. Get back. Ooh, okay. Checkpoint. Nice, nice. Whoop! Oh, how did I miss? You're kidding. Woo! Get in there. I'm worse than them. Sponginator. I get it. Feel like a new sponge. Oh, that's how you get this sock. Hold on. Woo. Woo. <gasps> no. Did you see how quick I was sliding off? I don't like it. I don't like it. Woo. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. Be better. Oh, the oh the tree was the. I keep on thinking you could just bounce on it, like it'll just send you up. But no, it flings you. Okay. Boom. Fresh like a spring breeze. All right, I don't want to forget about that sock over there. How many socks in the level? Ooh. Wow. Okay. Oh, it tells you where the spatulas are at. There's eight socks in that level. Eight. Okay. We're finna get that one, I think. If it's gold, that means you got it. And we're missing two more. There's 14 socks. 
and one jail jelly huh let me look at this though okay so this is the whole game cool lagoon sand mountain my lair rock bottom we get to go to rock bottom that's always nice when we get to go there kill forest chum bucket flying dutchman patrick patrick Okay. SpongeBob's dream. And Mr. Krabs. Oh. Okay. Get down there. Aren't you lucky? <laughs> oh, that's nice. They come at you, though. You don't have to go down there and get it. Okay. Oh, that's for Patrick. Whew. Another find for Patrick. Do you need to get the socks? Like I said, I'm not trying to watch this in but the spatulas I think we do need to get. I think we do need the socks. I think they said like if you give ten of them to Patrick, then he'll give you a, a spatula. I think. This is dangerous, SpongeBob. This is dangerous. Ooh, 